Mm. What you doing? Seducing you. Oh. You interrupted. I need to start over. Oh, sorry. Is it walking? Mm-hmm. I feel seduced. Oh. Mm. Wow. Do you like that? <laughs> I love it. What happened? Um, what do I do now? You can kiss me. Ugh. Or not. No, it's just we always make out. Okay, we can skip to it. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, we can skip to it. Are you sure you're ready? I think. I did a ton of research. I think I'm prepared. This isn't a test. Yes, it is. This is the ultimate test to our relationship. If you can't have good sex with your partner, our relationship will never last. Okay, well now I'm nervous. Shame. What if it's terrible? I'm not terrible. I've done this a lot. I have not. Ever. Baby, it's kind of unrealistic to assume it's going to be life-changing your first time. Especially when you don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I told you I studied. From what? Wikipedia? Uh... No. I did more... Visual learning. Like photos? No. Okay. Well, what kind did you study from? Um, the vanilla ones. You know, just the man and woman doing the basics. JJ. What? Why would... What? We're both girls. Yeah, no shit. And you only watch straight videos. We're both girls. Yeah, no shit. And you only watch straight videos. Oh. Well, shit. That's not helpful in this situation. No, it's really not. I can't do any of those things I studied. Nope. Oh, man. Do you just want to wait and take more time to study the right material? No, I can't wait any longer. I'm just going to go with my natural instincts. Okay. My natural instincts are not guiding me. Come here. Okay. Okay, which one do you want to try first? Do you have a collection? I don't know, can I see them? Uh, probably the smallest. I meant top or bottom. Oh. Um. Do you want me to top first? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Then I can just copy whatever you do after. Show me the way. Okay, lay down. One of the benefits to always having my hair up is that I'm always ready to give some head. This is really happening. It's time. How's that? Um, a little left. No, my left. Actually, no. Go back to the white. Lower. Lower. Oh, no. Actually, higher. No, that's too direct. Hmm, that's better. Zoe, honey, what do you want for dinner? Where does she run off to? Are you sitting here by yourself? Yes. Well, where does she run off to? Um, the library. What now? The library? Mm-hmm. Yo! Yeah. She just needed to get a book for, um, a research paper. Mm-hmm. Is she feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah! Are you feeling alright? Yep. I'm feeling good. Alright, well, what do you want for dinner? Can we talk about this later? Ah! No, honey, I need to order it now. May mom gets cranky if she don't eat by 4 p.m. I'm not hungry! Alright, well, what do you think Zoe wants? <sighs> I'm not really sure! We don't yell at people in this household, hon. I'm so sorry. Are we going to eat dinner? Where is Zoe? Are we going to eat dinner? Where is Zoe? She's at the library. I don't know what she wants to eat, Mom. That girl has never set foot in the library in her life. She's not at the library. She's such a cranky old bitch. I think you should go find Zoe and ask her what she wants. Well, honey, that's what iPhones were made for. I'll just call her. Strange, she left her phone here. Oh, I forgot. She's actually napping. See? She's asleep. Oh, sorry, Mom. I fell asleep. Well, honey, get on out from under the blanket. You're hiding down there near JJ's hoo ha. Someone's gonna get the wrong idea. Oh, yeah. Don't want that. Your man all saw that. She would have thought you were lesbian. That'd be so crazy. And what do you want to eat for dinner? JJ. A what now? I mean, JJ. 
What do you want to eat? Um, pizza is good. What do you want to eat? Um, pizza is good. Okay, bye, Mom. Close the door. This new generation is so weird. All y'all girls act like you're in love with each other. I thought we locked the door. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. Isn't that convenient? So, did it happen? A few times. Yeah. <gasps> yes! See? I knew I was good. Okay, my turn. But this time... Solid. Wow. I'm face to face with it. Yeah? What do you think? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. It smells like nothing. Oh. Tastes like nothing. Oh, really? Maybe you should double check. Wow. I'm face to face with it. Yeah? What do you think? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. It smells like nothing. Oh. Tastes like nothing. Oh, really? Maybe you should double check. Still nothing. Hmm. Triple check. I think I'm just going to keep checking, just in case. Okay, that was incredible. I did it. Yeah. JJ, you're a natural. That was like literally the best I've ever had. Willie? I feel so empowered. This is the best day of my life. Not only did I lose my virginity, but I am a sex god. <laughs> you are. Now come cuddle me, Miss Sex God. You don't even have to ask. I what about how important aftercare is. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Honey, I'm concerned about your recent weight gain. I haven't like gained weight, mom. These are these are just like my ovaries and like intestines and stuff. Emma, you look like you're gained close to 20 pounds. Okay. What are you like saying? Like I need to like go to the gym? That's kind of rude. Maybe. It's interesting how the weight gain is completely localized to your stomach. Must be genetics. Uncle Bill has like a beer belly. Uncle Bill is not blood related. Okay. Don't look at me like that. It's actually like really delicious. Oh boy. Abraham, your daughter is pregnant. Abraham, your daughter is pregnant. No, don't you dare blame this on me. You know what? Maybe if she had a father figure in her life, she wouldn't need so much male validation. Maybe she's just like her mother. The only reason I called you is to tell you that this is your fault. Now you understand the repercussions of being a shitty father. Will you go out with me again? No, I will not take you back. Okay, gotta go. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye. Is that daddy? Yes, that was your father, if you dare call him that. More like a sperm donor. Um, am I like still going to see him this weekend or is he like going to the casino again? Emma, sit down. We need to talk. Oh no. You found the weed. What? The mushrooms? Excuse me? Oh my god. Please don't tell me it was- I don't want to know. That disappointment is for another day. Okay. Then like, what are you mad about? I found your pregnancy test in the trash. I found your pregnancy test in the trash. And you look like you're about five months pregnant. What? I did like not take a pregnancy test. Oh. Oh, that was like a drug test. <laughs> it was positive. Yeah. I can like read. So you're not pregnant? You just so happen to have gained a shit ton of weight only in your midsection? Have random food cravings and have morning sickness? I am with child. Yeah, no shit. When did this happen? How would I like know? Well, when did you have sex? Like every day. I didn't know you had a boyfriend. I don't. This is what happens when you don't have a father figure in your life. Yeah. 
I do like older men. Did you at least manage to get knocked up by some rich old dude with a boat? I, I like do not know who the dad is. All right, Emma, you need to abort that thing. This isn't funny. We are in no position to be raising a baby. All right, Emma, you need to abort that thing. This isn't funny. We are in no position to be raising a baby. Mom, I like don't want to abort it. I like love it. Emma, you're 16 years old. You're failing all of your classes. You're doing all these different kinds of drugs and you're sleeping around with any man that makes eye contact with you. They don't have to make eye contact. Sometimes, sometimes I like close my eyes and pretend they're Rihanna. That is not what I meant. And I didn't know you were gay. I'm like bisexual. Okay, so you're the most whoriest type of horse. Uh, that's a little homophobic. You know what? No, it's whorephobic. You'll sleep with any man or woman. Uh, no, it's less of like an or and more of like an and. Listen, you cannot raise a child. I can, kind of, but I do not want to. I'm making you an appointment at the clinic and you're getting that thing scooped out of you. Uh, my body, my choice. My house. My choice. Oh, fine. We'll let like, go sleep on the streets. Plenty of drugs and sex for me there anyway. Emma, can you use your brain cells for like two seconds, please, and just be rational? I was thinking maybe we should get some Taco Bell. I don't think you're going to go to the gates of hell. Why do you say that? You shouldn't talk like that. And then I found out that Jason was actually cheating on me the entire relationship. Mm -hmm. With the girl that he told me was his cousin. So, wait, who's selling their limbs on Facebook Marketplace? Is it someone I know? I actually really like this song. Wait, who sings it? You're wearing a thong? Okay, I don't really know how to respond to that. I mean, good for you. So proud of you, you're so brave. I appreciate it, thank you. But no, I actually said I really like the song. You really like being strong? Yeah. No, that's amazing. Like, I'm so happy for you. Ever since you've been going to the gym, I swear you have, like, a different glow to you. I think you sat in something because it looks like there's something on your butt. Like, a huge stain. And it's the color brown. Oh my god, really? When are you going out of town? Why didn't you tell me? Where are you going? What is that in your hand? A pen? Your penjamin? That's so childish. Seriously, you're still using those things? What are we, in eighth grade? Don't you know how bad those are for you? They're filled with pesticides. And you're just willingly inhaling that into your body? Oh my god, your poor lungs. Me? I mean, I know I've been vaping since fifth grade. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about you and you inhaling harmful pesticides. Why don't you just use the real deal? Like, I don't get it. Does that thing even get you floating? I bet you're not even halfway to Saturn. See, if you were using the real deal... You would already be on Saturn. You would be the president of Saturn. Don't those things give you insane brain rot? They, like, burn off all your brain cells? You're probably already on the verge of being brain dead, huh? Yeah, it could never be me. No, I'm not, like, hating on you or anything. I just think it's really stupid for you to be using those things. Yeah, like, seriously, grow up. You're such a child. You're so mature. Hey, before I go, do you mind if I hit it just one time? Just to see what it's like. Will they go sleep on the streets? Plenty of drugs and sex for me there anyway. Emma, can you use your brain cells for like two seconds, please, and just be rational? You're right. I'll go stand dad's. You wouldn't. I would. Please, how about this? Let's make a deal. Okay, deal. I haven't told you anything yet. No deal. This is your old realistic baby doll. It poops, pees, cries, does all the normal things a baby would do. I remember. She like pooped and I did not want to clean it, so I like put her in the basement. That was like 10 years ago. We're off to a great start. But listen, if you can keep this thing fed, clean, and alive for a week, then you can move forward with your pregnancy and I'll help you. Deal. If you can keep this thing fed, clean, and alive for a week, then you can move forward with your pregnancy and I'll help you. Deal. But if you kill her or lose her, you're getting the abortion. I'm not worried because I know that won't happen. Hi, baby star. You're like so cute. You named a star? And yeah, because she's a star, like her mommy. You gave your baby a stripper name? I'm just trying to set her up for success. Where did I go wrong? Okay, well, I have a date. I'll be back in, like, a few hours. 
Emma. Oh, what? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, condoms, duh. Wait, I'm already, like, pregnant. I meant your stripper baby. I meant to leave her there. I, like, wanted you to watch her. It's fine if you don't want to. Come on, Star. Grandma doesn't want to watch you. Please use a condom. You can still get STDs. I might as well just call the clinic now. Brittany, you're late. Yo! Where's Gwen and Tiffany? They're not... Don't say it! They're not... Oh no! Where are you going? I was never here. It's yours. Melody, I understand school has just started and you may not know the rules. I know the rules. I always study the syllabus just in case there's a pop quiz. Well, that's good. In that case, did you know what I was going to get on to you about? Yeah, the eating. So that means I don't need to tell you to discard it since you already know the rules. Well, I won't be doing that. We don't need another Britney. Please don't compare me to other people that I don't care about. I'm just trying to save your skin. And how would you be doing that? What if the principal just so happens to walk into the classroom and see an unconscious student laying there on the ground? Laying from starvation, you will be on the cover of every newspaper journal title, teacher allowed her students to starve over a protein bar. Be sure to throw the wrapper away, okay? Of course. For more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, link in bio for more. Brittany, what are the rules about drinking in class? Do you think if I knew the rules, we'd be having this conversation? Yes. And why is that? Because you don't follow the rules. And why is that? I'll let Gwen answer it for you since you've gone mute. She doesn't give two fudge sickles. Gwen is too nice. I don't give She's two fudge. She's moving ahead. Step out of my classroom. Don't mind if I do. And I will be calling your mom. Call her! I will wait. And she's at work, so mother. If this is the damn debt collectors, I paid my hospital bill last it week. It's not Apple. Show. Sure. You've already had one. Ma'am, this is Brittany's teacher. Why the hell is Brittany's teacher calling me at work? Did she not tell you I'm at well, work? Well, ma'am, she. Yeah, mama, I told she her. Said, hey, I'm Brittany, I know you're not causing trouble for the folks at school. I'm not. She Y'all is, ma'am. for another hour. She's your problem, not mine. Feel the repeat. But, ma'am. So don't call this number again. How? Oh. You heard her. So in today, so in today, so, so, so in, so in today, so in today's lesson we're going to be learning, Brittany, what? If you're going to smack gum in my class, I'm going to just spit it out. That's Sarah smacking the gum, babes. Sweetie, please don't smack the gum. <laughs> I love how she said it politely to her. Anyways, turn the pages. Okay, Sarah. I got this. Wait, I'll stop. Too late for that. Mm. What? Uh. Yo, there's my key. Really? Uh. Hey. Stop looking at me. For more videos, subscribe to me. Make sure you're looking by you for more. Brittany, what's the answer to the problem? Did anyone see me raise my hand? Yeah, no, so I'm not answering. <laughs> this is an easy question, you should know this one. Ugh. Two. <laughs> no, it's four. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> okay guys, come on now, stop teasing or I'll be calling on you next. Now laugh at me again, ho. Oh my god. And this is for all of y'all.
What just happened? But my baby's just me. She don't like invite you for more. Sarah, get up. But I always sat here. I'm not gonna ask again. Girls, get situated. Class is about to start. Hmm. You know what? That's my seat. And I'm sitting in it. Construction instead. Yeah, the current administration's clean energy plan has resulted in millions of jobs in manufacturing, administration, and clean energy implantation. Many of which that don't require a college degree, there's something out there for everyone. The fact that they're thinking about raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, hmm, that's something to think about. Yeah, you can head over to American Progress for more about student debt relief or those clean energy jobs that you can snack without a college degree. They'll get you right about what's happening in the economy and how it's affecting students like us. Babes, I think you sat in something. There's something on your butt. It's like a big stain. It's brown. Looks like caca. Did you poop yourself? Did you just say my butt is fat? Stop. Oh my god, stop. You are too freaking kind. I have been going to the gym. <laughs> it is a little fat, isn't it? Yeah. It's got like a little jiggle to it or whatever. Yeah. Um, it said that your card declined. What's the time? Um, my phone's dead and I don't know how to read my watch. So, I don't know. Sorry. Oh my god, careful. Watch your feet. There's a rat right there. Did you just call me a brat? Oh my god, stop. Am I actually being a brat? But it's brat summer, you know what I mean? Like, I can be a brat if I want to. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think Jason is cheating on you. I saw him with some other girl, and she was, like, getting in his car. He was opening the door for her. Jason has been treating me so well. Oh my god, I know. He is perfect. Seriously, like, I could not have asked for a better guy. He takes care of me all the time. He treats me so well. You're right, I'm glad you've noticed. You can come inside. I didn't expect you guys to move out this far. Had a hard time tracking you guys. I mean, nice floors. <laughs> Is that Karen in my house? Hell no. Does this neighborhood have an HOA? Because this house compared to your last. I'm guessing your mother allowed you guys to get evicted. Honey, if you ever need help. Can't get the hell out of my house! Ah! Let's see, come here, that's the way for you. Ah! I'm calling the cops! Call them, dear. Call them. You got me elked up in my house. Get the hell out of my house. Get off me! Come here. I'm hear me out. You get out of the restroom, you've been in there all day. Fuck. Keep on, I'm gonna tell mom you're cussing. Tell her! 
She's not even here. You're doing way too much. You're being no longer than a female. Dang. Yo, you're musty. Ooh! You are smelling yourself, babe. I already took my shower this morning. Nobody saw you take a shower. Actually, no one ever sees you take a shower. Do not play with me. We both know you go days without showering. What's with all this commotion? Brittany's musty. Brittany, get in the shower. You just gonna take his word? I already took- Now. Brittany, what are you doing? Showering? Mama! Mom? Where's my phone? I don't know. I set it right here. Damn it! Where did you last go? In the kitchen? Well, well, I literally just set it down. And I'm pretty sure you actually saw me set it down because you asked for the time. Hey, Brittany, what time is it? Uh, it's 12 o'clock. Oh, I have to go to the restaurant. Mm. You know what? I hit it. Ugh. You be on that phone way too much. Messing up your eyes. You need to be up here having time with family. That's what's up with our generation now. And you ain't gonna find it. Yeah, find better hiding spots. Oh! Mom has officially gone insane. What do you mean? You haven't noticed she's been on her phone for hours? No. Let me put it this way. Have you noticed she hasn't been calling us to do things like chores? Oh, gee, yeah. Let's take a look. She's been like that for three days. Don't. Mom, what are you doing? I've been playing Block Blast. Can you not tell? Oh, that one addicting game? Yes. Block Blast is a perfect mix of creativity and the classics. It has very simple control, amazing sound effects, and a great rhythm. Yeah, Block Blast is also an excellent time killer. Really? You've been playing for three days straight. I have. Let me walk around and see if the house is clean. At least we had a break. How did your date go with that one guy that you said you were going to go out with? Oh my god, amazing. It was like one of the best first dates I've ever been on. Seriously, it was perfect. Oh my god, yay. I'm so happy for you. I'm assuming there's going to be a second date. Oh no, I actually ghosted him. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I thought you said it went really well. What happened? Well, like the date itself went really well. And then when we were leaving the restaurant, um, the second that we stepped outside, it literally started thundering and storming and pouring so hard. So I just like took that as a sign from Mother Nature that he's like no good. You know, he's just like a massive red flag. You ghosted him because the weather was bad? What do you mean? It's literally a sign from the sky. Like, there could not be a more obvious sign not to go out with this guy ever again. Matter of fact, the second that we stepped out of the restaurant and started downpouring, I literally sprinted the other direction, like, full speed. Like, I turned into a track star. And then I just went home and blocked his number, and I never talked to him ever again. Right. Okay. No, yeah, that totally makes sense. Never thought I'd be in love like this. So what kind of music do you like to listen to? My music taste is all over the place. Honestly, I don't really have like a specific genre that I like to stick to, but one of my favorite artists is Lana Del Rey. 
Do you know who that is? Do I know who that is? You have no idea. We have so much in common. Lana Del Fey is my favorite artist of all time. Oh, it's actually Lana Del Rey? Yeah, that's like what I said. No, but seriously, like, she makes some really great music. Yeah, she really does. Um, what are, like, some of your favorite songs? Uh, you know that one, um, that's like, Summertime Sadness. Yeah, uh, I do know that song. Um, any other ones? There's just so many good ones, like, I can't even, I can't even begin to, like, categorize them, you know? That would be, like, that would be a crime to rank Lana Del Fey songs. Well, come on, like, what's one more that you love? You know, enough about me. Let's talk more about you. Um, what color is it? Sorry? Sorry, sorry. Um, I meant to say, what's your favorite color? I don't know why I don't do any cleaning while I'm getting off from work. <sighs> Thank you, girls, for having me clean. Girl, that's what friends are for. Well, I low-key didn't want to. Girl, well, you didn't have any other choice. You're in my house. Your mother's house? Four plus four. Eight. <laughs> Y'all will be walking home. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Mom. Hey, Miss Dubois. Now you still gonna hurt Miss Dubois. <laughs> it's respect. I see the house clean. It is. It's probably clean because Brittany doesn't want to get her behind being in front of her friends. Because best to believe, I've jerked her through this house many times back and forth. After she'll tell you. She don't know how to clean up behind herself. All she can do is scream for help. And nobody came. <laughs> oh my. And she's still keeping that room dirty. One time I went into her room and I saw a pair of drawers on the floor with, okay, mom, you're doing the absolute most. You are showing out. Let's not talk about your car. Ooh. For part two, subscribe to me, YouTube channel, link in bio for more. Where is she going? Hell if I know. She probably realized she's a hypocrite. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if she's getting in the vacuum to clean out her car. Because now she's trying to clock me. You might want to quiet down. She might hear you. Who gives two flying foot signals if she hears me? She's doing the absolute most. She knew exactly what she was doing. No one's dumb. And no one's embarrassed. Who not embarrassed? Mom. Who not embarrassed? That's right. I'm the mother. Now I will show up for your friends. Get off my couch. Oh my I told y'all to turn that little behind up. And she still hasn't learned. Now get him clean up that room. Hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too, Poppy. You too, Poppy? What you trying to get into? So how are you handling the breakup? Like, are you doing okay? Surprisingly, I'm doing a lot better than I expected, but I feel like what's been helping me the most is kind of just like remembering all the things that he would do and they're kind of just like giving me the ick now and it's like grossing me out, you know? Oh my God, really? Like what are some of the things that he would do? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Oh yeah, I don't mind, I'll tell you. So like one of the things would be um, how he didn't take showers regularly. He would only take a shower, I think once a week. And then when he would take a shower, he would never use any soap or, like, body wash. Um, just because he says that's, like, too girly and he's very masculine, so he doesn't believe in using soap. And then when he would take his weekly shower, he would only be in there for approximately, like, 30 seconds to a minute. Mainly because he said that taking showers would take time away from him playing video games and taking a shower just felt unproductive when he could rather be playing video games. He also didn't really brush his teeth. He only brushed them, like, I don't know, maybe once every couple of weeks. Are you joking? How did you, like, put up with the smell? Well, when we would kiss, I would just hold my breath so I couldn't really smell his. And then if his body odor was really bad, I would just use my shirt and just, like, cover my nose with it. Hey, do you mind if I borrow a top from you? I just spilled all over mine. Oh my god, of course not. Um, Do you want, like, a t-shirt, a tank top? No, actually, do you have a black oversized hoodie? I mean, yeah, I do, but it's 90 degrees out. 
are you sure that's what you want oh my god yeah no i'm totally fine i'm actually completely used to wearing um thick layers of clothing all year round because jason actually doesn't allow me to wear anything revealing because he doesn't like me being dressed like a t-h-o-t so do you have a hoodie that i can borrow um we're not going anywhere though like we're just staying at my house so it's not like we're gonna be like outside do you just want a t-shirt i mean it's not like he's gonna find out oh no trust me he will find out and i don't want to start a fight okay we've been good for three hours and 27 minutes and i do not want to ruin that how would he find out oh he has my location oh look he's looking through that window right there hey babe You want to hang out today i have the day off oh i would but i can't i have so many errands i have to run like my day is so busy oh okay so that's all i have to do is just run errands yeah but i have like a lot of stuff i need to get done i need to take my dog to the groomers i need to go to the grocery store i have a gynecologist appointment i have to get an oil change i have to get gas i have to clean out my car that's pretty much everything but it's going to take up like my entire day um so i mean we can probably hang out maybe like next thursday i should be off then well why don't i just come with you what do you mean come with me where to run your errands why don't i just come with you and like help you run your errands um well why would you want to do that why would i not want to do that you want to go to the gynecologist with me and to the grocery store and to clean my car to get an oil change there is nothing in this world i would want to do on my day off than to go to the gynecologist the grocery store the groomers and to get your oil changed nothing there's nothing i would rather do so what are you looking for like dating wise are you interested in pursuing a relationship or are you kind of just like casually dating not really looking for anything serious i'm not really like totally sure on what exactly i want Mainly, I just want someone that I can, like, spend a lot of time with, you know? Um, I work from home, so my job can get kind of lonely. And, um, yeah, I just want someone who can be dependable and constantly available and just, like, fun, interesting, and can keep me company. I also really want to go on dates. I love being spontaneous and, you know, having fun little adventures um, so I want someone to always be available for that. And most importantly, someone that I can fall asleep next to at night. And I obviously want them to be loyal. I don't want them to see anyone else but me. But I'm also not looking for anything serious. You know, I, I'm not ready to settle down. My whole life is ahead of me. I just want something casual, fun. Um, I don't really know the word for it. You know, just kind of like a fling. So before I overreact and jump to conclusions, I want to talk to you about something because I'm sure you have a perfectly good and reasonable excuse to the question that I'm about to ask. Ugh, what now? Right, um, so I just wanted to ask, last night when I was sleeping, I randomly woke up at like 2 in the morning and I decided to check your location and it said that you were in some random parking lot for like an entire hour. Your location didn't move or anything, so just confused what you were doing oh my god i have no privacy you don't even trust me you literally don't even trust me like why are we even together um well you still haven't answered what you were doing i wasn't even doing anything i was just with my friend oh okay no problem yeah that's completely fine what friend was it why do you need to know everything this is so annoying it was one of my old friends her name's lily we we're just having a deep conversation in the back seat. I wasn't cheating on you, it was an accident. Do you need a ride tonight? No, I'm actually good. I think I'll just Uber. No, I insist. Let me give you a ride. I'm not gonna be drinking tonight, so I'm just gonna DD. You can just ride with me. I mean, are you sure? Do you want me to like give you gas money or something? No, 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 you're fine. My parents actually just filled my tank, so you're good. I'll just take you for free. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So actually, after further consideration, I um i don't know how to like ask this without being weird but do you mind just like venmoing me um some money for gas because you know i took you and it kind of took a lot of gas so if you could just like venmo me back that money that would be great 
Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I get it. How much do you want me to Venmo you? Well, we only use like a quarter tank of gas, but honestly, if you want to just like Venmo me for half a tank, that would be even better just like as a courtesy because I offered to take you. Didn't you say that your parents filled your tank? So I'm just paying interest technically. That's what this is. My Venmo is 